This Bantamweight division ubiquitously regarded as the deepest in the top 15 right now in the UFC. And this man's the number one contender. He has beaten so many talented fighters to get this title fight. Now we see what the hell he can do with it. Hey, beat them all. Except the champion. Right. It's such a weird thing that you can go through so many tough guys, but ultimately the toughest one is the one you get last. So you go through this murderer's row of people to earn an opportunity, and now you get to fight the best. The champion is good, man, but this guy believes he has the skill set to take that title from him. Yeah, he's been forged by the experience. He derives so much confidence from the training room, and it all comes down to these 25 minutes or fewer for the number one bantamweight contender. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting... The challenger, Jimmy Elterra Rivera! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, the Daddy. One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee right. tonight. All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the front runner for the fighter of the year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that a lot of people thought was close on paper is really something that could take his career to... Oh, damaging knee to the head! All right, so there it is, first takedown of the fight, and on the first attempt, no less... Did you expect a little bit more resistance from the kickboxer there? A little bit, because he was so sure that he could defend these takedowns. That confidence came from the practice room. But once again, it's one thing to do it in practice, opposed to doing it under the lights. This wrestler is next level. Right on the button. And everything's landing with so much power. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. That was nice strike. Just over three. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, my goodness. Nice front kick. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but he didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Now he will be motivated to try to go around. Rivera gets lit up by that straight punch. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. 
45 seconds remain in the round. Rivera's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Got the single collar in the clutch. Another shot here. Round two is next. All right. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them are really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Hook is there again. up on the feet, takes the fight to the ground. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. <laughs> Attempting a choke now. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now he's out of that star choke. Oh, massive diving punch, flush to the head. Good movement on the ground. Defensively. Oh, big shots raining down. Rivera's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, nice takedown. Yep. Back to his feet. Two minutes remain in the round. Rivera's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive. Only going to get worse. Every Ready. time you get hit in it, Ready. it just gets worse Good. and worse. You got to take some chances, try to end this fight right now. Rivera's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You got to think the ringside physician is going to get called in here in a moment. Beautiful jab there by the champ. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Another one. Back to his feet. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Big Daddy. 
Well, he came in with a target on his back with a belt around his waist, and that is exactly the way he leaves. Successfully defends the Bantamweight title by knockout time. He told us on Thursday, nothing's going to change. And that was the exact truth. He went out there and... Champion of the world, Big Daddy! Well, he came in with a target on his back with a belt around his waist, and that is exactly the way he leaves. Successfully defends the Bantamweight title.